Dr. Santos, hi. My hi. name is Kasia. Nice Welcome to, to our you. show. It's great to have Thank you. Thank you. It's a great show. So, Dr. S Dr. Sant Dr. Santos is a CEO of a company called Piezotech. Uh, they create a printable piezoelectric material. Yeah. Uh, so, what is that used for? Maybe first tell me a little bit about the company and then show some of the applications you've developed. So we are material uh, supplier. Huh? Yes. We develop uh, prototypes, uh, products, inks, yes. polymers, and uh, we are associated with the research institute and other startup company yes. to develop devices and prototypes. So the polymers we develop are printable and yes. electroactive. Yes. So it means that we, our intent is to bring new functionality to printed electronic. Yes. Electroactive means that they can convert mechanical energy into electrical energy, and reversely electrical energy into mechanical energy, yes. also thermal energy into electrical energy, and electrical energy back into electrical energy. Okay? So, first application for that is for sensors. You yes. can print sensors yes. to pressure sensor, infrared sensor, ultrasonic sensors on large area, small area, any design you want. First application for sensors. Second application is for memories. Or in the deeps of the material, there are, there are dipoles that are switching when you apply electric field. Yes. And one application is to use it to make printed memories. What about haptic? Is it possible to create So we develop, we are the only company that has produced uh, modified uh, polymers, yes. which is called Relaxor Terpolymer, because it's yes. And these polymers are very, at the highest uh, volumic electromechanical density of energy density. Yes. So this is, this polymer, when you apply electric field, can move. Yes. Okay? Okay. And they can generate stress up to 20 megapascal or thing like that. So we have customers that want to use it and partners that want to use it to make actuators. Yes. For actuators, we are developing several applications. First, speakers. Yes. A sheet covered with a polymer. When you apply voltage, it vibrates and creates sounds. Wonderful. Second, what you mentioned is this, is this is an example of a speaker here. You only have a polymer that you printed. On a, on a layer, yes. polymer with transparent electrode. When you apply a voltage here, you will not hear it. Huh? Uh, you have to connect it. Yes. Okay. But you can believe me, it, it is a speaker. Okay. And here, you can the same thing. You print devices. You can print it on uh, on plastic. You can print it on paper. And you will have actuators. When you put electric field here, then you will have actuation of the small plastic layers here. Hmm. So we have partnerships to develop haptic devices to make vibrate the surface. For example, we are collaborating with a company called Novacentis that want to integrate yes. actuator in a wrist yes. of wearables yes. to create haptic feedback, yes. touch feedback. We have collaboration also in project to make steerable catheters yes. with this material to move. And also we have also collaboration with uh, OEM to develop haptics on large surface, for example, for automotive dashboards. How transparent can this material be? Because I see this one is a little bit transparent. Yeah. So the, the, the problem of transparency right now is not because of our product, but because of the electrodes. Transparent connection. Yes. Here it's a P-dot electrode, yes. and you know that P-dot. So we are waiting for graphene, commercially available graphene or silver nanowire, to have at the same time flexibility, easy printable process, and uh, transparency. But the issue is not, the, is not a polymer. Is it possible to combine? Using this technology, two functionalities, touch sensing and haptic feedback yeah. in a transparent touchscreen device. So, uh, frankly speaking, yes, it's possible. Yes. Uh, you, you can put a layer of a piezo sync yes. and layer of haptic. Okay? Yes. But one issue uh, is that in order to have low voltage, you have to have thin layers. Yes. In order to have uh, high energy, you have to have multiple layers. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, we demonstrated with our partners that you can print easily multiple layers, uh, yes. up to 40 layers. I will show it uh, after that, after that, up to 40 layers. But the issue when you make uh, multiple layers is that you have many interfaces, yes. and every interface will induce some reflection, so you will lose somewhere some yes. transparency. Yes. So right now, if you need very strong effect and low voltage, uh, transparency will be difficult to obtain, but there is some haptic application. This is the catheter, but there is some haptic application where you uh, you can put it behind, yes, behind yes. The, the flexible touch. And can you the... force? Can you sense force, not just touch, but force? Yes. Can you... Okay. So you can, you know, in theory, you might be able to combine force sensing, haptic feedback, yeah, yeah. And tight sensing in one device. And even with, uh, for example. Uh, infrared or yeah. electronic, you can also have some kind of uh, 
of uh, form recognition. Yes. But I'm a material supplier. Yes. So I dream about what people can do with my product. Yes. We try to show what is possible to do, but uh, in the end, of the people that will use this product. Excellent. Dr. Silo Santos, thank you very much again. Welcome. Thank and you for uh, your organization here. Excellent. Nice. How's the show been for you so far? Very nice. I'll be there uh, next, next year. Excellent. We look forward to having you. Thank you. Thank you.